بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Continuing on in our treaties على قيدة واسطية by Sheikh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله تعالى The Sheikh began with some very important principles still laying the foundation regarding Al-Asma'i wa Sifat and he said, وَهُوَ سُبْحَانَهُ قَدْ جَمَعَ فِي مَا وَصَفَ وَسَمِّيَ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ بَيْنَ النَّفِي وَالْإِثْبَاتِ فَلَا عُدُولِ لِأَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ أَمَّا جَاءَ بِهِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ فَإِنَّهُ سِرَاطُ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Shaykh al-Islam, rahimahullah ta'ala, said he said wa huwa subhanahu qad jama'a fi ma wasafa wa sumiya bihi nafsuhu bayna al-nafi wal ithbat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the glorified has combined between affirming his divine names and attributes and negating those things which are unbefitting of ascribing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which for example the Yehud wa Nasara who say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, or the other claims against Allah wa ta'ala however Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala after looking at the at kitabillah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has brought forth these very beautiful principles that come from the Qur'an that the ayats where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to himself and describes his divine names in sifat combine nafi wal ithbat and we'll get more in in detail about that in one of our future uh, durus but as for now we'll just give one example and go along with the metan or with the uh, text and he said that Ahl Sunnah this being a part of the creed of Ahl Sunnah affirming this this Qaeda that we find from the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this principle Ahl Sunnah does not change they do not make inhiraf in this principle they do not uh, reject this principle nor do they distort this principle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed us in his verses in the Quran the many verses which uh, show this and illustrate this principle as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem qala subhana هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون. so here Allah subhanahu wa taala affirms for us those divine attributes about Himself سبحانه where He ascribes and says that who is سبحانه that Allah Taala says, "Fi Kitab Al Kareem, who Allah says He is Allah, the one that there is no God worthy of worship except Him, Al Malik, Al Qudus, Al Salam, Al Mu'min, Al Muhaymin, Al Aziz, Al Jabbar, Al Mutakabbir." So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala affirms all of these divine names and attributes for Himself, Subhanahu Wa Taala. Then He begins to negate those ascriptions that others have ascribed to him, those those false ascriptions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has naqs or he has shortcomings or that he shares in his lordship subhana. So Allah wa ta'ala makes ifbat, affirms for himself that perfection in his divine names and attributes and he negates. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after mentioning those ayats, Subhanallah, Yama Yushrikun, Hu Allah, Al Khalik, 
الباري المصور اللي هو الاسماء الاسماء الحسنى so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then proceeds in the ayat by affirming that glorified be Allah you know and far removed from this these descriptions of uh, naqs or shortcomings and imperfections and he glorifies himself subhanahu wa ta'ala and removes himself and frees himself from those descriptions of shirk those who who believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shares in his lordship shares in his uluhiya shares in his rububiya or shares in his divine names and attributes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin there is no god worthy of worship except you O Allah and verily we were of the wicked sinners so anyone who descri- ascribes those things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has committed shirk sarih they have committed open shirk that there is no debate about that they've ascribed partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either in his worship either in his lordship or in his divine names and attributes and that's really the subject of our treaties here in uh, Aqidah Tawasatiyah is predominantly Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala is talking about Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat related to the divine names and attributes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses as was mentioned fi kitabillah wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned that Ahlul Sunnah they do not make any distortion in that. Qala Shaykh al-Islam fala adul li ahl sunnati wal jama'a amma ja'a bihi al-mursalun that there is no Shaykh Salim bin Fawzan hafizahullah ta'ala he explains this he said ay la meel lahum wa la inhiraf an dhalik he said that this means that when Shaykh al-Islam says that there is no, that Ahlul Sunnah does not uh, distort the, those, uh, this, this principle and those names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the names and sifat, the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ahlul Sunnah takes it as it came in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam. And as Shaykh al-Islam said, "Amma ja'a bihi al-mursalun," that that what the NBA or the messengers, alayhim after salatu wasalam, what they came with is how Ahl Sunnah. That's how we form our creed. That our creed comes from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam, and we ascribed. Or we describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He describes Himself subhana. Kama wasafa bihi nafsuhu fi kitabihi. As He described Himself in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sunnah is wahi. Shaykh Salim bin Fawzan said about that, that text. He said that this means that Ahl sunnah they do not distort or go astray from uh, the intended meaning or the or what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ascribed for himself they do not make inhiraf rather they affirm and adhere to the light and the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us by guiding us from his verses in the Quran and from the authentic Sunnah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us from Dhulumat and Al-Nur. He gives us guidance from darkness to the light. And he said, and from the ways in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this this guidance is that he affirms his sifat, ithbat sifat kamal lillah wa tanzihi amma la yaliq bihi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his verses that he affirms for himself subhanahu wa ta'ala those attributes of perfection and he frees himself completely from any imperfections and any of those things which are not worthy 
of trying to describe the Lord of the heavens and earth, Rabbil Alameen, Subhana. So why is it that we have groups like the Ashairah, the Mu'tazila, the Jahmiyyah, and those others who, who distort the divine names and attributes of Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from their distortions. And as we mention all throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for himself his divine names and attributes, and he frees himself from those uh, those things which are not befitting of, of the one who's worthy of worship, such as sleeping. La ta'khudu sinatun wa la nawm. Allah does not sleep, nor does he rest, as the Christians claim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from that. Those are attributes of imperfection. That's what we need to do as creatures. That's what we need that's what uh, animals need to do. They need to rest. There are creatures that are nocturnal creatures. There are creatures that live and predominantly thrive during the day. They need rest. If they don't have the rest, they will die. They will collapse from fatigue. But Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is not in need of any rest, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we will in the dars in this session here and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless this to be of benefit for us and for the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a hujjah for Ahl Sunnah and a hujjah ala Ahl Bid'ah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.